Welcome to another drip feed vehicle video. Last week we actually expected a new drip feed, but nothing. Probably due to the release of the gun van and the railgun in Molotov, they moved the drip feed by a week. If we look at the drip feeds of last summer, there were always one or a just few weeks between every release. We already had the overflood entity and the western power surge, so now after three weeks we can almost certainly expect a new vehicle. Otherwise we can no longer call this drip feed content. This way, the last vehicle will come out on the GTA Spring update, which is always around March or April. About the right release order. We still have to do it with just this list. We don't have an official confirmation yet, but with the Western Power Surge launch on the right moment, we know this list was right. As soon as we get the Weenie Issy rally on this Thursday, we will know it for almost 100%. Only does the Brickage 6x6 in the taxi belong to this list or not? They have more or less been released already, but they have yet to appear in the vehicle online shops. I expect them with the release of part 2. I would say, stay tuned at least until this Thursday to see if everything is indeed as predicted. So we all will know what is yet to come in the next months. Hit the subscribe button and bell so you get a heads up as soon as we launch the videos about these updates. I will now show you all upcoming vehicles with the Rockstar funny quotes and some specs. Thanks for watching and good luck. Weenie Issy Rally. When you hear Weenie made a sports SUV, what do you picture? Is it A, school runs, work commutes, and a trunk packed up for a hiking trip? Or B, racetracks, barrel rolls, and the crowd losing its mind as the fuel tank ignites? Nine tenths Los Santos residents answered B. If you answered A, that could be a symptom of a serious imaginative disorder. We advise you to go straight to a therapist and your nearest weenie dealership. Not necessarily in that order. Broadway. Let's face it, so far, the future has been a disappointment. We were promised commercial space travel and world peace. What we got was increasingly weird VR porn. And everything else pretty much sucked. So, why not buckle into the Broadway and head right back to a time before Rule 34 existed, and futuristic design was still utopian sci-fi rather than doomsday chic? Panthier. A French lightweight sports car might seem like the automotive equivalent of a slimline cigarette, but don't let that put you off. This revival of an old classic still packs a killer punch. Stripped to the bone, she will get you from 0 to 60 faster than it takes a Frenchman to try and sleep with your wife. Karen Hottering Everin, calling all trailer heads and chronic truck boys. Now's your chance to manhandle one of the market, the Hottering Everin. You bring the toxic, we will bring the masculinity. Virtue. Meet the all-electric hypercar that comes track steady and city ready, so you can show off your climate awareness and your tax exile status from behind the same wheel. And if you get tired of know-it-alls pointing out the contradiction, simply equip it with some serious clap-backable accessories. Missile lock on jammer, remote control unit, slick mines and armor plating should bring a swift resolution to any debate. Willard Eudora. From the wonderful world of Willard comes this luxury jet age spectacular, a streamlined chromed up land yacht that looks and sounds like it could take you into the stratosphere. But don't worry, as your props like to say to his dates with a twinkle in his eye and gingivitis on his breath, we are only going to heaven and back. Karen Boer. Can't decide between a compact and a truck? A coupe or a utility vehicle? A pickup or a passenger car? Why not adopt the twisted love child of that sordid six-way? Let WTF be the understatement of the century with the cult classic Karen Boer, a versatile off-roader made for the undefinable. It seemed like a mad idea at the time, and the legendary Boer is nothing if not consistent. 